What's up guys, I'm Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Minecraft Java Edition 1.19 with any gaming controller on Mac. Let's get started. Alright, first what we're going to want to do is pair our controller. So if you have a wired controller, like this Nintendo Switch Pro controller right here, you can just go ahead and hardwire that to your USB into the computer. But if you want to connect it wire wirelessly via Bluetooth, all you need to do is open up your system preferences here, go to your Bluetooth, turn your controller on and hold the pair button. And as you can see, it popped up right here. Uh, go ahead and hit connect. And now your controller should be connected. Now what we need to do is go ahead and get Minecraft ready. And our first step to doing that is installing Forge. So let's go ahead and get to that. So to install Forge, all we need to do is go ahead and open up any internet browser. Go ahead and search for Forge. Just F-O-R-G-E, and then go ahead and go to um, files.minecraftforge.net. I'll leave a link to this website down in the description. So then go ahead and go to 1.19 right here in this drop-down menu. Go ahead and click Installer with the little box. Now this will bring you to an ad page. Just don't click anything here. Just wait till this um, skip button comes up. All right, there we go. Now I can skip this ad, and it'll give us a little file right here. So now what we need to do is just go ahead and drag that to our desktop, hit clear, and now we can close our browser for now. Now to install this, all we need to do is just go ahead and double click it. Um, this is just a pop-up that it will give for anything downloaded from the internet. This is just something that's installed on the Mac. I can assure you this file is completely safe. Just uh, go ahead and click OK. Open back up your system preferences. Go ahead and go to the security and privacy. And then click open anyway. Click open, and now your file should be open. Whoops, opened over here. Um, now we need to go to install client to make sure that bubble is selected. Click OK, and now it should have a little pop up. I don't know why this these windows keep um, going on this monitor, but now it should just say it's installing it. All right, once it's done, it should say it's complete. You can go ahead and hit OK, and now you're completely done installing Forge, and we're ready to install our mod. All right, so now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and open up Safari again. Go ahead and search for curseforge.com. I'll leave a link to this website also down in the description. Um, just go ahead and go to Minecraft once you're here. Go to mods, and then in here, just search for controllable. Just like that. And then go ahead and download the controllable mod by Mr. Crayfish. And then you can go to files, um, just go ahead and click this one that says for version 1.19. Just go ahead and click download. And now we have our mods file. Now you can clear, uh, clear that download and go ahead and close your browser again. All right, so now that we have our .jar file, all that we need to do is go ahead and open up Finder. Go to Go up here and then hold down Alt or Option and click Library. As you can see when I do that, that pops up right there. Go ahead and click that. And then go to your application support folder, go to your Minecraft folder, and then go ahead and locate your mods folder. If you don't have one, all you can do is right click, click new folder, and just name it mods just like this. But um, I don't need that, so I can just throw that in the trash. And now what you're going to want to do is um, open up your mods folder. I'm just gonna take all these out real quick. And then I'm going to move my controllable mod into here, click move, and now your mod is installed. So now what we need to do is go ahead and open up Minecraft, and now you should have a new installation that says Forge right here. If it's not here, all you need to do is go to installations, click new installation, and go to version, and just go ahead and find the 1.19 Forge release that you downloaded. Just go ahead and click that one. You can set your resolution and all these options down here, then just click create. But I don't need that one, I already have one, so I'm just going to use this one. Go ahead and click play. All right, and once you're in Minecraft, all you want to do is go ahead and go over to options. And by this controls tab, you should see a little controller button right here. Go ahead and click that. And then you should see your controller pop up here. Just go ahead and click this one. Um, and then you should be good to go. You can go ahead and go to um, settings and bindings if you want to. 
but now I can I have a little cursor up here that I can move with my controller and if I just go ahead and uh, go into this world right here and as you can see I've loaded into my world now I can play Minecraft with my controller and that's it guys it's that simple to play Minecraft Job Edition 1.19 with your wireless or wired gaming controller I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.